and this life allah says is a test for us i started my talk by also quoting one more verse of the quran of surah mulk chapter number 67 verse number 2 where allah says allazi khalaqal mauta wal hayata liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala allah has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds allah has created death and life to test which of the human beings are good in deeds so this life is a test for the hereafter allah says in the quran in surah al-imran chapter number 3 verse number 185 kullu nafsin zaikatul maut every soul shall have a taste of death your final recompense will be on the day of judgment and whosoever has been saved from the fire and has entered the garden of paradise he has achieved the objectives of this world for verily this life is goods of chattels and deception allah says in the quran In Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 155. Be sure, we shall test you with something of fear or hunger, or loss in goods or lives, or the fruits of your toils, and give glad tidings to those who patiently persevere. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has created this life for us. and that as a test to test which of the human beings is good indeed and surely allah will test you with fear with hunger with loss of goods with loss of life and what you have earned in your full life the fruits of your toils he will test different people in different ways verse number 71 that allah subhanahu wa taala bestows his sustenance more freely on some of the human beings as compared to others allah says in the quran in surah anam chapter number 6 verse number 165 that he has raised some of the human beings in higher ranks above others and he has bestowed gifts on some of them so that he will test them so if allah raises you in ranks and gives gift to you bestows bounties on you be prepared allah is testing you allah says in the quran in surah anfal chapter number 8 verse number 28 that your wealth and your children they are a test for you the wealth that almighty god has given you the children that almighty god has given you they are a test for you allah says in surah munafiqun chapter number 63 verse number 9 let not the love of your wealth and children take you away from the remembrance of allah subhanahu wa taala allah says in the quran in surah ankabut chapter number 29 verse number 2 do not think just by saying you believe allah will let you go and allah will not test you so just by saying i am a muslim i am a believer i am a mu'min allah says in the quran don't think that allah will not test you allah will surely test you and only if you pass in the test will you get paradise just by saying i am a muslim i am muhammad i am zakir i am abdullah will not take you to jannah allah will surely test you and if you pass in the test then inshallah go to jannah